Hello everyone, welcome to studygan.com. In this video, we will be learning how to install ngRock on Windows 11. ngRock is a powerful tool that allows you to securely expose your local host to the internet and making it accessible to the everyone. Whether you are a developer or showcasing a local host website. Now for the download of the ngRock, let's go to the browser and search here ngRock and it is the official website from the ngRock let's click on it here you can see this kind of interface of the ngRock unified ingress platform for developers ngRock combines your reverse proxy firewall API gateway and global load balancing to deliver apps and APIs so here you can sign up and let's go to the get ngRock and here you can see the install ng rook the windows mac os linux docker and other we have the windows let's here install ng rook via chocolatey and here is the download zip file let's select the windows 64 bit and click on the download you can see ng rook stable windows amd 64 bit zip file Let's save it here. It is around 8.8 .8 MB. So here's our file. Let's extract it. Select extract here. Here you can see the ngrog.exe file. Now copy the path. We serve the environment variables so type here environment variables and open it here you can see the environment variables let's click on it and just go to the double tap on the path and you can see here new and paste it here let's click on the ok ok and now ok so after the set of the environment variables let's check this out on the cmd type cmd and enter and paste the path here and ok here is the you can see ngrok tunnel local ports to public urls and inspect traffic you can see all this kind of old commands so for the authentication we have to go to the ngrok website and get the authentication token so here is the website and it is the command ngrok config add or token but this token before you sign up let's click on the sign up here you can see the sign up page and sign up with the google so now here you can see the welcome page and zero is your apps front door a globally distributed reverse proxy that secures protect and accelerate your applications and network services no matter where you run them so here are the all agents like mac os windows linux docker and let's scroll down here and here is the command which we want to get uh, ngro config add or token here is the our token let's now copy the command and paste it in the command prompt here here you can see our token saved to configuration file and here so after the setup of the ngro in command prompt let's go to the vs code and here is the node.js simple hello world program which is the port number 3000 and here is the server running at this url let's copy this url and click on the follow link here you can see the hello world this is the url localhost 3000 we use the 3000 port but this link you can't share with anyone just go to the cmd and type here ngrock space http and port number is our 3000 and hit enter so you can see this kind of interface of ngrock 
and session status so it is forwarding to this URL if you want to use and expose your applications and anything so let's copy this and paste it on the URL now here you can see the you are visit about this site and just visit site now you can see the hello world program is hosted on the this link and you can give this link your friend and colleague and then he can test it or debug it in using this URL right now you can't give the local host but this URL can access to the anywhere and this is running locally but if you expose it to using ngrok on the internet then it will provide you the public url and using that url you can just share this url and your colleague and friend can test it on his computer then just debug it or use it for example and that is the main benefit of the ngrok not only the NGRO can also forward TCP or UDP protocols also right so that uh, now we have forwarded our server on HTTP but if you're running something on TCP or UDP you can still use NGRO for the purpose also so that is a very useful tool which you every developer should know how to use it that's why I shared it so i hope you learned something in this video and hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching